Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss once again. And now that that's done, on with the chat. All right, and on with the game. So, we have, it, it's been a little while, as you might see from our fuel gauges here. I've been playing for a little while, simply because, as I said, it was time to move over all the guts of the old base, just so that we don't have to run back and forth. I've also expanded the platform a little bit. We have a little bit more real estate to play with. I've started a project. Hello, computer wizard, hello. I started a little mini project to clean up some of this pollution that's been just overhead. I've laid down a circle of dirt, put some grass in to seed it, and this'll just be growing little tufts of grass, chewing up at least some of the pollution up there. I've laid out kind of a, hello Prince, good morning. I've laid out just where the next, the next silos, what storage will be. I've laid out storage for wood, the stuff we'll get out of silt, iron, nickel, uh, steel, copper, tin, aluminum, and redstone and glowstone. So kind of, um, the, the stuff you find out of excavators, their immediate alloys, and steel. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this patch of dirt will solely be for just cleaning up pollution. As you might also see in our storage system, I also have some of our artisan tables here. And for some of them at least, oh boy, lag like spike. I have ordered additional RAM. It should be arriving tomorrow sometime. But yes, you see that I have some of them already full of liquids. I've run pipelines from some of our liquid supplies. I have a gas a gasoline pipeline, as well as I moved the old pump from the uh, previous base. This isn't a new pump. This is just what was feeding the uh, soaking pots and tables before. Run a pipeline up there. And uh, while I was doing that, I managed to kill myself to the power lines once. I've already replaced the life just by cheesing at our village of cheese, but uh, somehow in the process, I lost my white backpack. So I had to rebuild the backpack and rebuild all the tools that were in here. Yes. I did take a uh, lesson that I learned where uh, some paper parts will double up. So you'll see that this... Our new excavator has paper large plate as well as paper tough binding, uh, and that gives it writable too. And that allowed me to make this outright unbreakable. So, somewhat nicer build. I haven't made the hammer unbreakable yet because I wanted Lucky on it, and it won't be unbreakable until we can get um, embossments on it. But all these others are nice and unbreakable now, and our white backpack is a little bit emptier. Mm. Yes, well, this is this is the most RAM I have in the house, unfortunately. The RAM is probably the weakest aspect of this computer at only 16 gigabytes. I'm going to re be replacing it for 64. But, yes, we have a wonderful, excessive amount of fuel. Oh, yes, I also, I also noticed that uh, I forgot to run the water pipeline that we were already establishing to uh, cool down our dense fuel. I forgot to run it up to the engines. So I just ran some lines over here and underneath over to here just to keep these engines cooled. Yes, that's something you need to do with these engines. They need some sort of coolant like water to keep them running. Well, it's Lowers the durability, but that does that really matter when you're making the tool unbreakable? And their overall speed is still more or less the same, I think. Yeah. Well, 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 well. In any case, it is time to start building some more combustion engines and using our fuel. So, to do that, we're going to need to make some pistons. And to do that, we're going to need to make some engineering blocks. So... Oh, yes, I also did a quick stop by the Abyss just to pick up some more iron. And that is everything I did between episodes. So, we have some mechanical parts here. We have redstone, 
copper, iron, and unfortunately I don't have a lava pipeline yet. We'll work on it. Regardless, let's restock some of the... Yeah, that, that's... Eh, I want some more than that. I want some more than that. Let's uh, put a batch of iron in. Just restock all our ingots. Uh, yes, I'm still melting some, apparently. Yes, on, on the rebuild of the smelter... Ah, yes. One thing that I did build is I built a pollution filter just for the smeltery. That this is an ingot mode, right? Right. Yes, unfortunately laying it out again, I didn't quite get these up on the top level, so it's just kind of sitting here. It needed a lever per... Oh, yes! When I moved over our uh, milling tables, I found out that um, on... Our uh, fountains pattern ones, the fuel lines, you can put a tap on that and you can still access the fuel line. So these now have igniters of their own. And also, while sorting through my storage system, I found I had buttons from God knows where. So these now have just push button activation. And isn't that lovely? Is this full of liquid clay? No, it isn't. Well, on you go. Yeah, these don't have filters yet, but these also give out very little pollution. It's fine. So are you pouring me some iron yet? Not yet. <laughs> well. Doing tinker science is always wonderful. It's one of my favorite mods simply because you can, well, tinker with it so much. Come on, give me a few more iron, please. Come on, man, I need my fix. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, we can... Redstone is cheap right now. There we go. That's more like it. And with that... Are we seriously... Well... Okay, so there's our copper, there's our gears, there's some more mechanical components, which that's probably not quite enough. Yeah, I need the same amount of components as I need copper gears. Well, that's easy enough to resolve. I guess I found out that if you move these tables, uh, make sure that you take the blueprint out first. I had to rebuild the blueprint because I just... Uh, Chunked up the table and it killed the blueprint. So that sucked. That sucked. So, da, 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 and then NG block over to the, and there. And that'll make... I need more iron ingot, as per usual. Well, thankfully, we've been pouring those out. And there we go. That's actually perfect. Wow. Okay, and that should make 16 pistons. 16 sounds like a pretty good start. Um, I think that what I'll be doing is I'll just be burning all of our light fuel mix... And I'll be leaving the dense fuel to stock up. Because dense fuel is damn useful stuff just for utility purposes. Hmm. Ah. So it might not be Tinkers alone that's messing with your preconceptions. That's always lovely too. Yeah, actually that should be enough exactly for 16. Next I just need... Uh, let's just grab a stack. And I need to restock the lava, of course. Uh, for right now, in, until I get a proper lava automation or pump jack or whatever, I'm just using these buckets over here. Or these metal barrels. Uh, 
Ah, yes. Well, the two of them probably would be competing, like, they'd get jealous of each other. I'm the best. No, I'm the best. So, yeah, you, you don't want that happening. You, you don't want catty competition between... You, you, you're like a harem protagonist. You need to pick one. In any case. Pistone. And there you go. Put this away. And just put that away. And how am I doing on glass? Um, I really wish I could use clear glass. But we can't. Oh, buttons. So convenient. Ooh. So you can make cursed items. That does sound neat. Oh, yeah. I need to figure out some sort of means of uh, drank. I need to get my drank on. Can I... Okay, so I have... Um, I have this here. This is filling up from a pipeline, too, just for the carpenter, which I also moved over. Um, the power lines are coming in from the underside, if you're wondering. If I make myself a... Uh, what's it called? Canteen? Yeah. If I make myself one of these, would that allow me to fill that up from the barrel? Let's do a little bit of science. Let us perform a little bit of science for the sake of convenience. I need to make some more of those. So that's going to require two item filters. So need to... Get a little bit of wool. Can I make these? If I. Yeah, see, that just refills automatically. All right. So then, if I just take the two that I need, then, okay, filter, those, then I just need a piece of charcoal. Yes, the one thing I haven't moved over from the base are the uh, charcoal ovens. I'm just lazy about it and also the fact that um, I don't know if chimneys are compatible with those. Now I think I need a little bit of green fiber in order to make the wooden bucket that it's asking me for. That should do it. Hmm. Yeah, that, that would be That would be very hard, but then again, one of my absolute favorite packs is Blightfall, and I love the map in it. So you could use that for inspiration. Uh... All right, so canteen. Can canteen. Really, you keep the bucket. I thought that was just part of it. It can't. That's unfortunate. I think we'll keep it anyway, just because... It's a bit of a pain going like under the base just to get our drink on. And this gives us a couple of buckets to keep on hand. It also slightly lowers the chance of dehydration. But yeah. Unfortunate that we still need to make a drinking hole somewhere up here. Oops. That one. Okay, so, to make these, we're going to need a bit of iron. And we're also going to need to make those gears, which is going to... Uh 
Huh. Yeah, yeah. Blightfall is really not a one-person project. Not because any of the tech or magic is hard, but simply because the task of uh, cleansing the land, that is a task that just requires many hands. It's not something that can be easily automated. And believe me, I've tried. I spent hours trying to figure out, like, how to nest teleposers so I could teleport in a bunch of dawn totems or something like that. And yes, yeah, see? The gasoline just refills. This is wonderful. So, gear. Yes, yeah, it's just easier to do it like this. Oh, that's going to need one more set, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Because we need two gears in order to... That's not a full stack. Give me a full stack, please. Thank you. All right. One more stack of those. One more stack of those. Hmm. Minecraft comes alive, you say. That sounds interesting. And those, those... Yeah, I don't mind this cog dance. I don't mind this nearly as much. And next I'm going to need yet another almost stack of iron. These engines are a little bit on the expensive side. But they are very well worth it. So next I'm going to need some redstone blocks for these. So let's just chunk these all into our compressor because I think I'm almost out of redstone blocks. Yeah. We've got a few. That would be wonderful, computer wizard. Le definitely let me know when you do that. I'd love to join in on that. Let's just start keeping that in our backpack. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely sounds like what you need if you want to uh if you want to make a blightfall like experience. Okay, so next we're going to need some pipe, and as you can see, I've added one chest to the chest wall, and that is just going to allow us to uh store our logistics types things. So I'm also going to need wooden. I'm going to need more wooden kinesis pipes. Um, and that should do it. Yeah. So I'm just going to need... I'm going to need to go and grab some redstone from the old crusher. Yeah. Well, from what I've seen, there's a ton of new magic mods. There's stuff like... Um, nature magic and uh, and what have you if you uh if you look at direwolf's channel his current server is using a lot of new magic mods that are very interesting so 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 yeah let's just store whatever we can fit in our bag three more That should keep us stocked on redstone for a little while. Terraria gets more difficult over time? I thought Terraria only got more difficult with progression, like hard mode and stuff like that. And like with bosses defeated, it's, it's conditional. It's not like just passively, like seven days to die. I don't know if I like passive difficulty increases over time. I tend to like to take my time, build my infrastructure. Like you're seeing now, you know. I could rush to the end of the chapter pretty soon here. But I don't want to. Yeah, we're going to need two crafts of that. Which means we need to crash that. Which means we need four pieces of this. Ah. 
Well, yeah, I don't mind progression-based difficulty increase. I don't mind that at all. This one. And there we go. And there we go. All right, so. Oh, yes, we're also going to need our vents and chimneys. Yes, because we want to funnel all of our pollution over to the uh, pollution filter. So that means that we probably want to start the line right about, yeah. So let's just trace it out right there. So if we place our first, no, actually we want it not quite there. We want it there. Because then, can I snap this? Yes, good. Thank you. Because then, if we place this down here and this down here, the way the vents work is they'll pull from the entire line going down that way. And then, I should be able to, hopefully, run it down to the chimney here. And just fuel down that way. And if we give this a kinesis pipe, well, it's not hooked up to anything, so it won't start powering just yet. But since it has a redstone block on the bottom, it has signal. Since it has fuel, it should just go. And then we're gonna need to run a water line into this after the fact. Simply because uh, this'll be running more or less constantly once we have the lasers going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that should lay out a nice long line of engine. Yes, good, beautiful. Wonderful. Well, I mean, just get that stream set up, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you produce. Oof. Nice long line of wonderfully erect engines oh it's beautiful you love to see it so proud so upright okay and now start running our kinesis pipes off of these and that should link this all into one big happy power system keep it daytime for me please so, I think actually one higher than this is where I want to start running the power system off. And yeah, see, we're already draining our tank just because we are filling up the buffer system from this. So where's the rough center? It doesn't have a perfect center because this is an even number, but still, like it's here-ish. Yeah, one higher. Simply because maybe too higher. Well, let, let's let's go get our assembly table and some lasers, and we'll determine how high this needs to be. So we're gonna need an assembly table, and let's go for the lasers. Yes, this is the whole point of the power system right now, is to power this system right here. We're gonna need tons of obsidian. Mm, how am I doing on obsidian? I've not really got much. Might be do a, yeah, let's do a quick trip down to the abyss. Uh, let's just fill up like our bag, I guess. Yeah, we don't need to bring 
nothing else at the moment. Let's just offload this. Offload that. Cobble is so cheap right now, we can just throw it out. Good. All right, quick obsidian run into the abyss. Ugh, pretty soon. Maybe, maybe I should build a quarry and start like quarrying up just tons of obsidian so that I never have to do this again. Eh, we don't need obsidian that frequently. All right, down we go. Let's just pick a spot and start drilling. Like right here, sure. Down we go. Let the waters carry us deep. Let the occasional bit of glowstone incidentally light our path. Don't forget that portals dehydrate us. Uh, yes, but it unfortunately makes a kind of crap building block in the sense that when you make mistakes, it takes a little while longer to correct them, unless you have really OP tools. And, um, honestly, as much as I really love purple, it's my absolute favorite color, it's so dark that you can't see any detail. And I've not seen really many very good chiseled variations of uh, obsidian. Yeah, you can. Oops. You can you can chisel obsidian. And uh, let's see here. There's a couple of good variations of it, I guess. Yeah, but you see, it's all it's all that same super dark purple. Probably the lightest one is the light panel. I think I used that in regrowth to make the roof of the uh, great farm. But, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see their details over here in the chisel interface. The chisel interface is unfortunately very bad at showing dark textures. They're a bit lighter than uh, Baseline Obsidian, just not by very much. Alright, get a nice couple of stacks going. I don't know, what do you think? Should I make a quarry just for obsidian? Just to get thousands and thousands of obsidian. It would be a bit more infrastructure work. But on the other hand, it would mean I never need to do this boring job again. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though. Quarries are not terribly expensive. They're expensive uh, having to set up the infrastructure around them. Like, it would need... I, I would absolutely need gates and stuff in order to uh, make them work at all well. And I would need... I would need void piping, or I would need a storage system, or something. But, um... Yeah, the quarry itself is not very expensive. It's just essentially a bunch of... It's a little bit of cog dancing. And, oh uh, yeah, that... I would need to make a new... A new, uh... Artisan work table for it. Not a terribly expensive one. It would cost a few extra engineering blocks. But, um, yeah, the quarry isn't that expensive. And it doesn't use that much fuel. In my test world, four of those, uh, of those engines that we just built 16 of, four of those engines can power a quarry, a quarry to go plenty fast. And four buckets of our dense fuel that we now have, like a, maybe a, 
tenth of a tank of. Four buckets of that will mine out roughly a chunk. Dense fuel lasts for a good long time. Yep. Well, we'll be making quarries. There are resources that we need to mine out of the abyss that I am going to need ridiculous amounts of. So we're going to be making quarries at some points. The question is, should I make a quarry just for obsidian? Just for this layer of the abyss? Just for the convenience of this? Okay, that's probably sufficient. That's probably more than sufficient. Oh, yeah, that's right. I probably need to... Yeah, this this looks... Uh, the base looks a little bit depressing right now, doesn't it? A couple of sections of flooring that I didn't do the decorations on properly. And just a very few machines left in here. The crusher. The coke ovens. Oh, it's depressing. Oh, no. I should move my base teleport over. Yeah, I should. Hello, 12th Century Fox. Good morning. Yeah, can I do home set base? Home. Home set. Set home base. There we go. Well, it's depressing because we moved. And the old house is now just sitting there gutted. Yes, this is lo much less depressing. It's, it's kind of busy, but it's certainly industrious looking. In any case, let's... Offload our treasure into here. Let's just keep a couple of stacks on hand for what we're about to do. So, for my assembly table, I'm gonna need to do a little bit of cog dancing. Yes, the platform grew. It is a much chuftier boy. We have some future storage laid out. We have a, a little lawn to help start uh, soaking up the old pollution cloud. Try and beautify the world a little bit. We'll be moving this dirt patch around. Just as a background task that I'll probably even mostly do between episodes or the like. Just from time to time... When this grass stops growing, move this patch of dirt around. And uh, we have we have most of our old base moved over. Our artisan tables, some of them even have... Uh, yes, yes. Yes, well, we're preventing that. We're preventing the acid rain. We're trying to uh, make up for our old sins. It's fine. Just chunk it all up. So, gear makes... Oops. You know, gear. Yeah, that's easier. Wood. Stone. Iron. I forgot the gold. Keep a little bit in there, sure. Why not? I'm running low on gold. Oh dear. And diamond. We're gonna need tons of diamonds. Yeah. Keep it daytime, please. And gear. And gear. And tabla. I'm also going to need tons of redstone. And there we go. 
Uh, no, these gears cannot be cast. They can only be made in the engineering workshop because they require gasoline. These are yet another different type of gear. Yes. And now, as many as you can make me, please. More than that. We need more. More. This requires hammer. Yes, lasers. We're putting on the Pink Floyd show. It'll be wonderful. More laser. I said more laser. That's exactly as many as I wanted, in fact. Huzzah. All right, now let's once more grab our kinesis pipes to lay this out properly, but also need pipe plugs. And let's lay this out. Yes, lasers for the laser god. Okay, so let's lay this out like Let's give it a little bit of distance. Yeah. So, the question is, is this high enough? It's looking like no. I want this a little bit higher because it needs a, it needs smooth line of sight to view the table. So, pick everything up. Maybe one higher? Hmm. Yes, pew for the pew throne. Yeah, that should do it. So then, laser here. And oof, see, they begin to pump. Oh, you're right, before I forget what this needs, these need water pipes. These need water pipes. So let's just, again, roughly from the center, down here, let's go make us a fluid pump. Give it some power. So, fluid pump is real easy. That's just a couple of fluid pipes. Uh, a single mechanical component. Do I have a single mechanical component? I don't. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Doop, 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 doop. A single mechanical component and a little bit of iron plate, I do believe. And that should make us a fluid pump. Just like so. And then it's gonna need... Do I have any more? Good. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, that's another thing. Um, between episodes, I suffered my first death to the wires. So, that is probably an indication that the spaghetti is getting too intense. And it's time to do something about it. And that something is to make myself some special armor so I can avoid it. So, let us just grab a little bit of aluminum. And we'll start melting this down into plates. Let's see here. 24. It takes 24 to make a set of armor, right? Or was it 27? Yeah, let's just make... No, not rubber. Not rubber.
Not quite rubber. Dr. Octagomicus, blah, oct yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, that bodes well for the let's read, doesn't it? Yes. It was unfortunate not to see you there, 12th Century Fox. We just completed our first, uh, our first uh, soiree into the new Let's Read Dwarf Fortress. I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's going to be a fun project. Really? It has problems casting out quickly, I guess. Hmm. Well, thankfully we're getting to the point where we don't need to worry about that for too much longer. But yes, if I make some Faraday armor. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. And helmet. Yup, yup. Then, wearing this unfortunately skin covering armor. Oh, it's so unsexy looking too. But for paying that price, we are now. That's not everything. Where's the tank? There's the tank. Yes, we are now. Oh, it sounds clanky to, or, or it sounds jingly too. Oh dear. But we can lick all the power cables we like. Huzzah! Tasty, tasty power cables. And yes, these cables are live. If I uh, just take the helmet off. No. Yep. So, this is our new... Uh... Mm. Well, I'm not sure if that's allowed by the rules of the challenge. It's fine, anyway. I'm mostly just being dramatic about it for the sake of dramatics. Yep. There is a reason we want to avoid the problem if we can. So, 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 so. Right, right, right. I'm gonna need my HV connectors. Cables. And let's head underneath the base in order to get that going. So, I'm gonna need to lay the line out for it right there. Oh, right, I need my fluid pipes too. Maybe I should make myself a second backpack to carry around pipes and logistics stuff. Maybe I should make some more pipes. Let's just make 16 or so more. Yeah, it is this one. Okay, there we go. And there we go. <laughs> I have never played Arx Fatalis. Is it is it any good? What kind of what kind of game is it? Is it like action RPG, JRPG, what is it? Yes, we want to give this its own dedicated uh, water line. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Immersive simulation RPG. Okay, that sounds um, vague, but interesting. Right, so. Hammer. Over into... An output. And a redstone block on the other side. And we'll just use straight up build craft pipe for this. And now we just need to get you some power. So. Let's still try to keep our power cables relatively neat. Just for in case we ever forget that... Uh, 
we need to put our armor on. Hmm. That does sound interesting. So over here, I guess, yeah. There we go. And I think I can just take it from there, yeah. And that should indeed. Now I'm not actually running the diesel generator right now. This is running entirely off battery power. I've shut all the pump jacks off, including our crude oil pumps. But um, the battery is enough to run just our our uh, water pumps for a damn long time. If I get out my voltmeter here, this is this is just running a tiny little trickle. And actually, the diesel gen, yeah, it's 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 outright off off. But if I turn it on, then you'll hear it's it's kind of stuttering. I just turned it off because that's still enough to get it to generate pollution at full rate. Mmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I do enjoy a good magic system. I guess with that, these engines which were overheated should now resurrect themselves. Hopefully one fluid pump is enough. We might need more fluid pumps to supply all these. Yeah, well, we need to give it a moment. We need to give it a moment to cool down. Regardless, let's start laying out our lasers a bit more. That's one past, two past. No. Get them facing the right way, please. So we're going to need one more kinesis pipe after that. Yeah, and that should be good. That should be good. Uh, no, they can't explode. They just shut off. Okay, we're going to need at least one more fluid pipe. Fluid pump. That's okay. That is okay by me. They are cheap. They are dirt cheap little things. So, one of those. And then another poop. Oh, wrong. Wrong table. And, yep, I think I don't even really need to uh, go to a new spot. I can just kind of write off of this one, yeah. I can just kind of uh, take the pump right from here. MR over into the uh yeah we'll put a plug on it just to, for the sake of neatness there we go and did I put my HV cables away I did didn't I shoot Am I just out of HV cables? I must be out of HV cables. Well, we need to make some more aluminum cable. Um, come on, come on, JEI. So what does it, HV, yes. Wire coil, oh. How very nice. So, it needs steel and aluminum. Oh, I forgot to move over the metal press. Let's make a ton. Hmm. 
skills. Huh. Regional difficulty. What do you mean by that? Do you, do you mean like the, um, do you mean the difficulty you set it to? Like, uh, normal, hard, or whatever, or wh what do you mean? Oh, and yeah, a month after the warranty, that sucks. I feel for you on that one. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. I am um, local difficulty six out of the. Okay, you're, you're talking about this local difficulty thing, right? Okay, that's interesting. Does that change based on the biome or what? Is that just like something that increases over time? Does that change by biome or is it a more complex interaction? Maybe I should move over the metal press. I don't know though. I don't know. Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. I never knew about that mechanic. So there really are some biomes that are more evil than others. I thought that was just me hallucinating it. <laughs> yeah, really depressing. I feel bad. We we spent I spent so much effort decorating this base and now just cuz I need more space and it's easy to build a big platform. But uh yeah. Hmm. Well, good thing that the chunks where we spend most of our time are now completely lit up. And, you know, but I guess that means that if we ever fail to light up a spot, then it's going to be spawning all the stuff really quick, and, and, it, and it's going to be spawning nasty stuff. Mm. Oof, the jingle jangle sounds so uh, interesting when you're on concrete. I got spurs that jingle jangle jingle. Okay, maybe I like this armor a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and make me all the HP quail, please. Good. And we'll just put this in, I don't know, here. Okay, now. Now we have a little bit of... There we go. And that should increase the pump. And let's see how that suits the engines. We might need a third one. We might need a fourth one. These things are thirsty. Hmm. Clouds on the ground? Oh, potion. Ah, uh, okay. I thought you meant like there was a pollution cloud somewhere in here. It's... Hmm. Okay, maybe it needs another input pipe. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, bunched it all together like that. Okay, so let's guesstimate, like, yeah. Ah, uh, shoot, I'm going to need more fluid pipes. Gonna need more fluid. That'll do. And just those three. And I'm gonna need more pipe sealant, too. It's fine. Just use what we can. Hmm. That sounds a little bit like uh, what 
what Bionization is doing in this pack, where um, if I take sufficient fall damage, I can break a bone. And, like, that'll cause... Um, that'll cause some of the same effects you're talking about there. And you notice I have little bloods, blood dupes in the corner there. Let's plug, plug there so we get genuine double flow. And let's see if that helps out any. We might need a third pump going to the other end, too. Hmm. But yeah, it's it sounds like you've got yourself a nice little interesting difficulty mod there. Yeah, that canteen really doesn't give much chance of uh, avoiding dehydration. But it at least allows us to potentially avoid a trip down beneath the base. Hmm. The Slender Dragon. Ooh. That's a creepypasta in the making right there. I like it. Yes, I, I know that's probably just a mistake. Don't worry, I get you. Okay, one more pump for the pump god. Ah, beautiful. Autocorrect is always, always so helpful, isn't it? No, no, no. Go, go for it. Go for it. You, you, uh, you need to invent the Slender Dragon. You might have the new Herobrine on your hands right there. You, you've invented the new Minecraft creepypasta meme. go. And I'm gonna need more fluid pipe, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just short. Dang it. Dang it. Dag nab it, damn it. Alright. Well, that means it's time to visit the blood bank, because blood is probably our easiest source of uh, pipe sealant right now. Oh, I'm so close to those gates, I can taste it. There we go. Ah. Neat. Yeah, you, you sound like you have a really interesting mod that you found there. It's kind of a combination of bionization, tough as nails, and loot bags, then. That's a, that's a heck of a combo. Hmm. Well, there, there's something called Endarium in this pack. That's just from Thermal, Thermal, uh, Thermal, um, Expansion. Yeah. Neat. I look forward to seeing this pack. Do you have an idea what you're going to call your pack yet? Everyone knows that the title of the band is one of the most important things. Ah, yes, and I was, I was being a poor player here. I should have checked to make sure it was in fact full of blood before I drain it all. We need to make sure that we never drain the blood blank, the blood bank entirely. Hmm. 
Yeah, that does sound enticing. Hmm. Yeah, that, that sounds more like, uh, that sounds a little bit too robotic, even for me. Pour the blood right over our heads. Get a little shower of it as we pass by. And... Toop. Make me some lovely little blood balls. In the meantime, we can chunk up some more gold to make some more pipe. Hmm. Yes, the, I suppose the title is very efficient. Oh, wrong table. I'm going to do that a couple of times, aren't I? Oh, by all means, name it whatever you like. I was just curious what you were going to name it. Okay, that's probably sufficient for the meantime. Yes. And hopefully, hopefully this should be sufficient to... Quench the thirst. Good, good. Yes, the pipe is pressurizing, the system is cooling. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Alright, so now we can expand our lasers in peace. So... We're also going to need pipe plugs. One thing, when you're expanding a power system for something like this, you always want to be sure that you don't create any loops. Because if I just do this, then uh, when I lay down the lasers, you might see it becomes problematic. It creates this kind of feedback loop. It's messy. It's bad. Just don't. Just say no to feedback loops. So use your pipe plugs to keep nice, clean lines. And then you will be much happier in life. Just like so. Build craft pipes are a bit stupid, but with a little bit of effort, you can make them smart. And. Oh, there's things we can do to make disco lighting intentionally. That'll produce a bit less lag than it, than it attempting to move around thousands of energy will. Because yes, I think that power feedback loop would produce lag eventually. And oof, isn't that a lovely intimidating sight. Now, I'm gonna need some supplies to start making me some stuff. What's your problem? You are... I guess it just needs more time to cool down. Because the system is still pressurizing fully. Yeah. We'll see what we see. But three pumps should be more than sufficient. True. True. Minecraft is so poorly optimized. It's a tragedy.
does Bedrock Edition run any better? Not that there's any mods for Bedrock, and I, I'm not going to play vanilla Minecraft. So, let's get a thing of redstone, a thing of lapis, a thing of redstone, a thing of iron, a thing of redstone, a thing of bone meal. Yeah, four less redstone in that case. Another thing of redstone, another thing of iron. Just queue up a big order. Run this for a good long time. And do I have any? Yes, I do. I have chests on hand. Can I shove all this in the bag? At least the redstone and iron. Yeah, we can. Cool. So the laser table is going to need a chest. Buildcraft assembly tables will thankfully automatically input into chests. So if we just put a chest next to it, it'll input. Next, let's shove all these resources into here. The way these work is you shove resources into them and it shows you what, re what recipes are possible. So in the meantime, we're gonna want iron chipsets and we're also gonna want pipe wire. And yes, look at that. Pew! This is wonderful. And watch the beating, pumping heart of industry going down all the veins and arteries. Oh, these are beautiful, wonderful day. Ooh. They don't quite pump in unison, nor do they quite pump in wave, but they pump so wonderfully regardless. Vroom, zap. And yes, now we're starting to get these piling up in the chest. We're going to want these chipsets in order to make gates, which I've gone on and about so much. And yes, it'll cycle down the recipes that I've highlighted in here. So it'll go chipset, pipe, pipe, then it'll start making gates. Gates take a little bit of juice to make. That's why we made such an excessive system. So is this enough engine to keep up with this? Wow, that might just be enough power for this system. I thought that this this many lasers wouldn't be powered by just 16 engines. Ah, no, there it goes. It, it just took a while to run down the buffer because it must be close. Yeah, it must be close, but not quite. Oh, maybe. Maybe not as close as I thought. Oh, boy. Well, regardless, we have gates. We have gates. That's wonderful news. So we just need to let that cook for a little while. But, uh, yes. I'm, I'm going to make equal parts and and or gates. Just because they're both useful for various tasks. And I guess that while that's cooking... I think I'm going to start, yes, the multicolored light show because we don't have quite e sufficient power. Oh, the light show, yes. Hmm. Part of the problem is that insufficient cooling on the engine stack. Hmm. Give that more time to, yeah, it, it looks like this was flickering before, wasn't it? It's still, yeah. They chew down buckets and buckets of water while they're cooling from an overheat. Really, I probably need to shut it off for a few minutes. At least these end ones. Yeah. So just shut those off for just a minute. Really, this one too. Give that a moment to cool down. Give that a moment to start building up a little bit of water. That should. Mm. No, if, if it's going to be lasers, it's got to be Floyd, man. Got to be that pink Floyd. That is just two great flavors that go great to together. Ah, but look at that down to yellow. Down to yellow condition. Let's let those cool down all the way. It should only take a minute or two. Yeah, part of the problem is that 
these things are still also sucking down all the water still, just because they're still cooling. Maybe I should just let... Yeah, it's those two more, right? Two more. Let those cool down all the way. Then we'll see if we have sufficient water. There we go. And yeah, see, these are starting to build up. A l no, not quite yet. They're still cooling. They're still cooling. Hmm. I guess part of the problem is that the distribution could be a little bit better. Could move the central pipe over to this side, and that might be a bit more even. Maybe. Maybe. But yes, the consumption should be lowering as these completely cool down. And then the pipe will completely pressurize, and that'll just be a feedback getting it closer and closer to done. Yeah, see how this is getting higher and higher as it cools? Ah, there we are. Wait, you're blue. Blue is completely cool, isn't it? So why are you not building up water now? You should just be straight up building up water. Hmm. You've been cooling the longest, right? Hmm. It's freaking hypothermia. No, the water's not looping or anything. Uh, fluid pipes are a lot less prone to that than energy pipes or anything like that. Hmm. There it goes. There it goes. Now these are starting to cool down. Yeah, it was, it was just that the, they needed time to uh, completely cool. There we go. So, all these done? Cool. Let's turn them back on. And let's see how our system's doing. Alrighty then. So, yeah, water positive at this end. It's alive. The water consumption will increase very slightly when these get up to green heat again, but, um, yep, I think the system is stable. The system is completely stable. And now it should be pumping just constantly into there. Lasers will take a little while to heat up to green again. Green and occasionally blue. But yeah, we just need to leave that cooking in the background and remember to occasionally shove the iron chipsets into there. Maybe I should make a pipe to automatically put iron chipsets in. Mm. Ugh. I miss having a roof over my head too, the stupid freezing rain. Well, I need to pile up tinder everywhere in the base in order to prevent this problem. Either that or I need to figure out some sort of cozy insulated armor. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, Weather 2, uh, there, there is a machine from Forestry that technically can um, stop rain. But weather too, the thing that makes those nice whirlwinds that occasionally assault us, it unfortunately breaks it. So there is no means of preventing the rain. At least none that are accessible to me that I know of right now. Yep. 
Ah, yes. It is a nice steamy. I mean, at least it's tindering and not grindering. Okay, so in the meantime, I am going to go and I think I'm going to make that second bag that I was talking about. Yeah. So let's get just a piece of, I don't know, yellow dye for it. And let's get us some string in order to make a bag. Spring is thankfully nice and easy. We can just harvest our hemp field. And... It's not super important that we get it all. I think I can just throw that out. Yep. And from there... If I just come over here and uh, get myself a stick, then I can dupe and dupe into that. And honestly, that's probably sufficient. Yep. Unfortunately, it has to be primal crafting, at least for this string. There's an there is a carpenter recipe for string as well, but it uses. Um, Oh, it, it, it turns into wool, and then I can turn wool into string, but yes. Okay, so from there, I'm going to need, let's see here, my impregnated sticks, right? Right. And then I think it's like so, is it? Okay, how do I make, oh no, that's in the thermionic, isn't it? Yeah, that is in the thermionic. Okay, and then it's gonna need glass. Where did I put the glass panes? Into there. Oh God. Yep, time for tindering the base. Where is the piles of tinder? Ah, they were in the old backpack, weren't they? They must have been. Oh boy. Okay, lag spike. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Getting myself some uh, more RAM will fix the lag spikes. Hopefully. We can but hope. And by that, I mean I'm pulling the hope right out of my butt. That's also going to need compressed sticks, right? And then it's like this. How do I make Tinder? I've forgotten after so long. Ah, okay. There we go. Yes. The best type of hope. The worst type of hope. The only type of hope. But hope. Okay, and... Make me one of those. Okay, what's your... What's your issue here? You have stick, you have... Oh, it needs me to. Right. And indeed, I did, in fact, need more. So... I'm gonna need more than that, aren't I? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, any other recipes for string? Other than just throwing it into there? Hmm. None that are really easily attainable. Okay, well, we can take those. And then we can take 
the remainder of our hemp, and that should be sufficient. Hmm. Huh. Neat. So yeah, you can you can pile up like a stack of ores for yourself in creative mode and that'll Yeah, that that is neat for testing purposes. Oh boy, we still don't have enough. This needs so much hemp. If you're doing it by hemp. Hmm. Well, that'll have to wait. <laughs> well, I have to be fashionable, don't I? All right, so we have a little bit, a little bit built up. Mostly we have a lovely collection of pipe wire, which is always useful stuff. So let's take the gates that we have here. Ah, yes, another thing we're gonna need. We're also gonna need some pipe pulsers. Yes, it is finally time to build some pipe pulsers. Goody, goody. So to make pipe pulsers, we are going to need to build some good old fashioned redstone engines. And unfortunately we are out of all the stuff. Well, let us make some additional mechanical components. I was hoping that iron from the Abyss Trip would last a little bit longer than this, but such is life. And into there. Why is what green? The lasers? Uh, the lasers are green because they don't quite have sufficient power. Ah, but yes. <laughs> Look at the smoke particles coming out of this chimney right now. This is crazy. Oof. Yeah, this the smoke increases for each for each engine. Oh, build craft lasers? Build craft lasers are safe. Mom. Look at me. Yes. Power me up. Fill me lasers. They're fine. They are perfectly fine and safe. Oh. Well, we might have one of those of our own to look forward to. Nuclear craft is in the pack. It's a ways off, though. It's a long ways off. What the heck was I doing? I don't know. I was making, I was making redstone engines. Right, so, 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 so. Oh, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's just a little nuclear explosion. It'll be fine. Oh wait, that is. Mechanical component, not... Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Let's just... Get on making those redstone engineering blocks. There we go. And we need more iron ingot than that. Uh, we need to make excavators so that we no longer have resource shortfalls ever again. Okay. <laughs> yes, it can be either huge or it can be fucking huge. Possibly it can be catastrophic. Hmm. 
really, I, I think the tremendous nuclear explosions are underrepresented. And underrepresented. It's just racism against the tremendous class. Yes, yes, cataclysmic is in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Need more. Okay, how's this doing? Five? Yeah, we need to make more than that. We need to make more than that. Yes. The only thing I know about the nuclear craft um, explosions is that um, nuclear craft actually has somewhat of a realistic thing where um, the internal components of the nuclear reactor will melt into corium, which is actually a term from real life. Corium is um, stuff like the, uh, the slag in the center of Chernobyl that the elephant's foot is made out of. Ha. <laughs> well, I, I guess we'll see. But yeah, I mean, sure, I'm up to I'm up for some ending fireworks. If we ever do see the end of this mod pack, we are nowhere even close, you know. Like, um, yeah, we are here. We still have this and this. And this, and this, and each of these chapters is like, the grind is going to increase, you know? Like, okay, at the point that I'm at, yeah, I could make petroleum-infused ingots right now relatively quickly. Um, I would just need to make these super diamonds, and I would need to make this enrich petroleum and all this. Um, yeah, it's nothing too terribly hard. It's mostly, it would be finding a bunch of electrotine. And this enriched petroleum, I would need to either alloy hard carbon in oil, or I would need to make a mixer. This is, this is stuff that I could do. I could end the chapter relatively quickly here. But I'm building up infrastructure in order to tackle the future right now. So we're going to be lingering for a little while. It might be worth jumping to the next chapter relatively soon, uh, because the next chapter will give us um, Railcraft, as well as Steve's Carts. And I think I want Steve's Carts for the wood farming. But we can delay on that a little bit. Okay, so, 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 so. Yeah, let's start off with 16 pipe pulsers. That sounds like a nice even number. So, for that I need pistons. And I'm going to need more glass, aren't I? I am probably going to need more glass. Because the redstone engine... Yeah, that requires glass. Dang it. All right. Well, give our new invulnerable excavator a try. It is nice that we can just dunk ourselves straight into the ocean off the end of the base. Alrighty then. But yes, with gates, pipe wire, and pipe pulsers, I can make some wonderful things. We can build such wonders. Oh, right. Air. Air is a thing. 
we can't be wearing our uh, our armor. We need to swap out. There, that's better. So let's very carefully get rid of all the dross and swap out all this. And there we go. Ugh, heat. Even with the nice insulated diving suit. Turn it daytime, maybe that'll help. No, it's really not helping, is it? Well, we'll just put up with it. Because we need a bunch of sand. Again, this is... I really need excavators. I really do need excavators. Okay. Duh. Eat some tripe. Warm up a bit. And... Yeah, I'm gonna need more sand than that. Gonna need more sand than that. If only it would actually drop sand. Then I would be set with just how this excavator behaves. But unfortunately, that is not to be. The only way I'm going to get straight up sand in bulk amounts is with an excavator. And silt is unfortunately the slowest excavator product. Hmm. But yes, I have tried, even with Silk Touch, in my test world, even Silk Touch, the sand still breaks down into the same stuff. And 90% of the sand is of unknown types that I can only use in the uh, smeltery to make clear glass. So unfortunately, I can't use clear glass. Da, da, da. Put that away. A little bit of armor management added to our... Hello, Blood Devon. Um, I could... I think that I could in the Crusher make sand. Out of cobblestone. Yeah. And that might technically... Yeah, because that's made out of gravel, and gravel is made out of cobble. So with two crushers... With two crushers, I could produce sand. But I think that would be of a similar rate of production of just getting it out of the excavator. And certainly a similar level of infrastructure building. Da, 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 da. And that should actually be an even amount. Yep. Yeah. Leave that to its own devices. And let's see how our lasers are doing. Yes, yes, yes. We have vastly upgraded the new base. We have uh, moved a lot of our old infrastructure over. And we have lasers. Beautiful pew pew lasers. Now, the question is... Is this still fuel positive or is it fuel negative? So we'll uh, remember two, five, three, two, five, three, and we'll see if that amount is going up or down. Ah, but yes, this is beautiful. Good. The gates, the gates are soon to be activated. 
eat some tripe in celebration. Oops. And uh, that's the kiln. Make me glass. Good. Now, from there, I'm also going to need stack o sticks as well as some additional wood. And from there, I can make my radstone engines. Huzzah! No, not quite huzzah. Right, needs one more stack of sticks. Two stack of sticks is what it needed, right. So, da, 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 good, good. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, I'll give it a look. That sounds fun. So, pipe pulsers are simply redstone engines plus iron and let's put those on the list of crafts so with as i said pipe wire gates and pipe pulsers we have all the tools we need to fully automate quite a lot of things gates allow you to read conditions of local storage and various other things and create signals based off of them and gates can be used to activate or deactivate pipe pulsers which will be used to pulse the pipes and pull items so as such i can now create logic systems in my storage that do things like only pull when when um only pull when a storage is not all the way full so that the pipe won't overflow or only pull until it, it, it's going to allow me to do a whole lot of things. Oh, hold on. Someone is at the door. I just heard my doorbell. Give me one second. Hello again? No, not the fabled IRS. My new RAM has arrived. Ugh, the Amazon packaging is covered in advertisements for Ring of Power. Rings of Power. Bleh. But that is the price we pay for having sweet, delicious new RAM. Yes, I'll be installing that as soon as we're done here, which I should be wrapping up pretty soon, honestly. It's getting a bit late in the day. Yes, no. No, I didn't order rings of power, I just ordered new RAM. I ordered new RAM to hopefully slay these lag spikes that we've been suffering. Ah, we have a pulser. Beautiful. The first of many. Mm, wonderful. But yes, let me show you a little example of what we can do with our new tools. So if I take some pipe wire, a couple of gates, 
Do I want and? Well, let, let's take all the gates. We're looking at building a new bag anyway. Yes, it wasn't the IRS. They aren't after me yet. Actually, um, when I did my taxes, this year I got a refund of quite a lot of money. So, I'm good on my taxes. Yes, if we move our previous storage system, and if we take the signal off of this, then I can place down, say, a chest right here. And let's run it a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's run it past the cog dancer. We have a few unfortunate, uh, unfortunately densely packed things around here. Yeah, almost worse. There are worse things in the world. The betrayal of Rings of Power, though, I think that is a particular evil. Ugh. So, let's put down an extraction pipe there, and let's just run this out past all our infrastructure. I should have picked up pipe plugs too. Just to keep things nice and neat. Now, I can place a gate on the storage. Really? It's trying to pipe into the tinder? Okay, fine. And I can run a pipe wire all the way down the length of the pipe. And now you'll see that this OR gate has a couple of things that it can do here. It can say, when the container on the north side, the chest, has, say, less than 75% stock, activate the blue pipe signal. And now this entire pipe signal lights up. Uh, pipe wire signals transmit immediately, and they have no limitation of range like redstone. This can run as far as we want it to. So we'll run this down the length of the pipe. And now let's put an AND gate on here, as well as a pulser. And now I can say, when blue signal on, so in other words, when this chest at the other end is not quite full, when blue signal, pulse the pipe. And look at that, it begins extracting. And if I take my existing storage over here, if I start chunking cobblestone into the pipe, into the box, I should say, then we should see that when it's very close to full, watch the pipe signal in the background there, there, it turned off. And immediately, the item feed shuts off. So the pipe won't overflow. And as soon as we take some out, it starts up again until the chest is full. Or until the chest is over 75% full, I should say. So yes. This is kind of my plan for how to run my logistics. This is how I'm going to design a main bus. Is I'm going to run lines out of my storage system that I've laid out here into chests like this. And I'm going to have them keeping a stock. And then I'm going to run lines off of these chests into machine systems over off to the side here. Like a Factorio main bus. And when I need to run the line out, I can just run it off the chest. And the system will be feeding out of storage. In, yep, and there it goes. System is full, but not over full. And these gates can take multiple conditions too. So, notice that uh, this one over here is an AND gate. Well, I can say 
put a redstone lever right here. And if I give that redstone, can that read from there? No, it can't. I need, say, an ore gate and some uh, and some white pipe wire to do that. I should have brought both colors of pipe wire. But yeah, that is why I got two colors of pipe wire going, just so that I can create multiple logic conditions. But yeah, if, if I then do this and say when redstone white signal, and now I can say when white signal, and I can just link that in there. So these conditions aren't linked. I could have two separate conditions on the one gate, or I can link them together. And because this is an AND gate, both conditions must be fulfilled. This is an OR gate. If I link these, then if either conditions are fulfilled, then all logic on this side will go. But now, see, because I've put an AND signal on here, now if I turn the redstone off, all conditions can't be fulfilled. And even if the box is demanding, it won't activate the pulsar. So I could have this lever here for manual debugging purposes. Like if I wanted to do work on the line, then I can just turn this lever off and it won't be pumping out even if it needs, even if it needs to be supplied. So yeah, gates can make some pretty intensive logic for you. They can do a lot of work. And I'm just going to empty it out this crate entirely. Cobblestone is free and produced very quickly. We can just throw it out for the sake of freeing up the crate. So yeah, that is why I was eager to see gates. This allows us to make build craft pipes very, very smart. Very smart. And 12th Century Fox, you were talking about how um, you were having trouble automating stuff like carpenters. Well, build craft pipes allow you to do things like send two items to a box for every one item of another type. They allow you to build things to ratio and supply exactly what you need if you can do the logic correctly. So. Yes, yes, like pigeon. Beautiful pigeon. You'll just take pigeon. It is free. It is glorious. If you're making a reference, I don't know it. <laughs> Powerful stuff indeed. And now we can finish building our bag at last. Yep, I'm just going to make... A whole new bag entirely for holding logistics stuff. Just make it all. There we go. That should be sufficient. Yep. Excellent. And now I can in here and all those there we go new bag and from there i think i just do it in the carpenter dye the bag nice and yellow Wait, is that the right bag that's the right bag i'm not sure if dyeing it would kill all the stuff inside Neat. Well, I'm sure that if I am ever in need of a good meal, that's something I can go for. Just snatch him out of the air. But yes, now we have our little construction yellow bag of logistics that we're just going to carry around. Let's see, I think I have some chests and some crates in here. Yeah, free up the white bag a little bit. There we go. 
and this is pyrotech stuff. No, wait. This is pyrotech. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And yeah, let's just carry let's carry some HV cable around. Uh let's carry some of those. Let's carry some structure pipes. Our pipe plugs are already in there. Uh, and yeah, as I, oh, void pipes. Yeah, we definitely want to carry around void pipes. There we go. Um, I don't know because we won't unlock anvils for a little while. Let's see, are they on the quest list? They might be. Uh, Mage's Workshop. Do I even see the the recipe for Anvil? No, I don't. But I think that if I recall correctly, then the Mage's Workshop is where you make one. Yeah, it's... it's uh, regardless, I, I we aren't going to unlock Minecraft Anvils for a long, long time. Like a long, long time. We won't have any means of enchanting anything for a while. Magic is very, very late in this pack. Yeah, we're going to want to carry around tons of gates, tons of pulsers, all the good stuff. Indeed, indeed. They are beyond my pathetic understanding. So... We have laser, laser, beautiful, beautiful laser, and now we can use it to start automating all the things. Well, I was hoping that the lasers would just be the beginning of today's journey, but it took longer than I thought because of derp and fail. And unfortunately, it's getting late on in the day. It's getting to the point that I'm going to need to go and make Sunday breakfast for everyone, so... With this little demonstration of how things work, I hope that you can see the power of what I'm going to do. And you can see the direction that I'm going to be taking things. And I hope you're excited to see more. In the meantime, thank you everyone for joining me. Oh yeah, we, we should check and see if we're fuel positive or negative. So it was 25,000 or so. Ah, we are slightly burning more mixed light fuel than we are uh, producing. That is actually a good thing because I don't want that light fuel to jam. I want it all to be going into dense fuel. And if the light fuel jams, then, well, I suppose I could just put a void pipe on it. Hmm. It's fine. Either way, yes, yes, yes. Thank you everyone for joining me. Blood Devon, 12th Century Fox Computer Wizard. Keep me appraised about that mod pack, man. I want to take a look at it. Everyone, thank you for joining me. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. Bye for now.